What's cracking guys, Omar Esop here. In this video today, we are talking about why bullshit supplements actually work. You know those supplements, you see the advertisements, the top selling ones that seemingly have no effective ingredients, but somehow those that take it always report results. I mean real users, I'm not just talking about the advertisements. Individuals, they'll buy these supplements, I'm not gonna name them, I don't wanna get sued. Right? I've been guilty of this when I was 18, you see a, a brand new supplement, you're interested in it, you buy it, and you seem to experience a whole lot more gains, either strength or size over time. What's actually going on? We're talking today about the placebo effect. And in order to talk about this, we have to talk about two very important studies that deal with steroids. Here's what I'm talking about. The first study took place in 1974. This is how powerful the placebo effect is, believing that you can achieve something or that something is assisting you. And this is why, as I said before, bullshit supplements work. So, 1974, this is when steroids were legal. They took 15 participants and they said, kids, try your hardest. Those that perform the best are going to get free steroids. So lift as you know, heavy as possible. Try and get the most strength gains that you can get in this seven week period. So everyone tried as hard as they could on the four major lifts. And within seven weeks, they increased their lifts by 22 kilograms. That's very impressive. Awesome, right? Then they took that top half, the people that performed the best, and they said, you know what? <laughs> now we're gonna give you steroids and let's see what you do with a further seven weeks. And you know what happened? They increased their lifts by a further 100 kilograms. So first seven weeks, 22 kilograms. Next seven weeks, 100 kilograms. Here's the problem though. They didn't give them steroids. They did not have any steroids. They thought they were being giving steroids, but they're just being given, you know, Tic Tacs and told like, yeah, there's a testosterone right here, Jimmy. It's gonna make you swole. And Jimmy was like, oh my God. And when he went to the bench press, he increased it more than ever before. Those participants had the most gains ever, a 400% increase versus when they thought they were not taking steroids. That's the placebo effect. And you might be thinking to yourself, like once again, they took nothing. You might be thinking to yourself, oh shit man, maybe these are beginners. Wrong, sucker. 2000, there's another study. They took elite powerlifters. I'm talking guys that weigh, you know, approximately 180, 185 pounds. They could deadlift, you know, 580, uh, squat, you know, 540, 550. And once again, they made their coach approach those athletes and say, hey man, you know what? I actually got some steroids, keep it on the down low, but I could give it to you and let's see what results you get. So they took a pool of elite lifters, people already naturally at the top of their game, and the coach gave once again nothing, right? They thought it was steroids, but it was tic tac pills, right? Placebo pills that did absolutely nothing. And they took it, and you know what happened? Every single one of those athletes PR'd, every single one of them. So everyone that thought, oh, sh oh my, dude, I'm, I'm taking shit, I don't know what's going on, I'm, I'm turning into a freak, I, I PR'd on my squat last week. After only a few weeks, all of them PR'd, and yet they were taking nothing. So the placebo effect is very powerful, and this is where good marketing comes into play, because it's not necessarily what a supplement does, but what you believe it does that's most important, and that's why these BS supplements work. They don't do anything, right? They don't spend the money to invest in the good supplements, and to be perfectly honest, even the supplements that work, like let's say creatine and beta alanine, it's only gonna help you a little bit, but the marketing's so good, the package looks very appealing, you know, they say you're gonna achieve these results. We take them, and then we believe we're getting gains, we put in more effort into the gym and thus we get more results. And we believe that it actually works. I was guilty of this, right? I was 18 years old, I bought, I'm not gonna name those supplements once again, don't wanna get sued, but when I started taking these supplements, right, they're basically nothing, they're sugar water, uh, I started taking them, I experienced more gains because I thought, oh man, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna lift more weight and it just so happened, I started lifting more weight. And really, it comes down to the power of belief. As I said before, most supplements don't work, only a few slightly assist you, but if you believe you'll achieve something, you're far more likely to achieve it. And that's the takeaway point about this whole placebo effect and false steroids, right? It's about the time you put into the gym, it's about the concentration and the focus. If you believe you can do it, if you really put your mind to it and you don't psych yourself out in terms of the weight, if you're very consistent with your effort, you will get gains. So really, how we perceive ourselves and how we perceive our workouts will ultimately determine their success. That's what I want you to take away. So go out there and kick some ass, save some money, don't buy those BS supplements, and the next time your coach you know, offers you steroids, I mean, I'd say no, right? That's it guys, that's the video. Uh, what am I gonna say? No. That's it guys, that's the video. 
Thank you for watching. If you liked it, make sure to like the damn video, and I'll be seeing all you guys, my rascals, in that next video.